you're looking for the best dog kennel, it's going to depend on a lot of different variables. First, of course, is your dog. Obviously, you can see I have lots of different styles of dog kennels here, some that are quite similar, some that are very different. Um, but at the end of the day, it needs to be the right size no matter which style that you pick. You need to find a crate that's going to be large enough for your dog to stand up, lay down comfortably, and turn around comfortably in. So it needs to be the right length, width, and height for your pet. The best way to do that is to measure your dog if he's full grown and add a couple inches to each dimension. And that should give him enough room to do what he needs to do and still be comfortable in his kennel. If you have a puppy, you need to do some research to find the average size of the puppy when they're an adult. And you may need to buy, for example, if you have a St. Bernard, you're gonna need a large kennel like this one, and it needs to have a divider so that it can be smaller or larger um, as your dog grows. The other thing that you need to think about is the style of the crate that you want. Now metal wire kennels like these two here are probably the most common that you'll see. There's also plastic carriers like this one up here. Um, sorry, I said carriers, but I meant kennels. Uh, like this one up here that are also fairly common. Um, you'll find soft-sided crates like this. These are great for dogs that are already trained um, and they just need a place to be comfortable and uh, have a little safe den spot. There are kennels like this one here that also look like furniture so they mesh right in with whatever your home's decor might be um, and for some pet owners that's a really big benefit. They don't want a kennel like this one that sticks out or you may not have a room for a kennel, a separate kennel. You might need to do something that's a two-in-one product so that you can fit it into your home. Um, but whatever the case may be, I'm sure you've done your research, you've checked it out, and you're just looking for the best kennel for your dog, whether he's a small breed, a large breed, he's a chewer or an escaper, um, or you're looking for something like this one that's going to fit in well with your home. I have found five today to compare that all fit into different categories, so let's take a closer look at each. My pick for the overall best dog crate is the Midwest Eye Crate Folding Dog Crate, which is this one here. It's a metal wire crate. Um, there are a lot like this on the market. The reason that this one is my top pick is, one, it's fairly affordable. Um, it is a little bit more expensive than some other wire dog crates, but it also is higher quality, um, and it's not too, too expensive. Kennels can cost you uh, upwards of two, three, four hundred dollars depending on your dog's size, and um, this one's very affordable for pet owners on a budget. Um, and it's also really sturdy. You can see that I'm shaking. The kennel's not like wobbling or falling over. Um, let me show you really quickly how easy this works. So here's the door. This is the single door. They also have double door options as well, uh, which would have a door on the side here. So it has this little sliding latch to secure the door um, and it makes it really hard. Even if your dog was able to push this up, he would have to push it up and slide it over, which is going to be Pretty impossible if he's on the inside of this um, and the reason that they call this a folding wire crate is because it folds. Now this is very common with most wire crates. It's a great feature to have. This is our chocolate lab Sadie. Whoops. And our beagle Molly's coming in. This is her crate so she's wondering what's going on. So there's this detachable handle here. It allows you to carry it around easily. Come here Molly Molly. And there's also a little locking mechanism here so that you can easily just pick this up and carry it. It weighs less than 10 pounds, um, so it's really easy to carry around your home if you, um, you know, want to take it down when company comes over or uh, if it's a case like Molly, she's not left alone a lot and she usually doesn't need to be in her kennel when she is left alone um, anyway. Sometimes if she's not feeling well or something, I will leave her in her kennel just so she has her own space away from Sadie, because Sadie can be quite rambunctious sometimes. I just don't want to pinch my fingers. So that's it. It's pretty simple um, as far as how it works. Like I said, it's a little bit more sturdy. The wire um, metal bars are a little bit thicker than you will find on some crates. These slats here are um, one and a half inches by five inches long. So you, if your dog you know, has little paws like Molly's, 
maybe they could get their paw through here um, and get stuck. That's something to think about when you're thinking about a wire kind of like this. Think about the spacing between the bars. Some of them are like little squares, so it's really hard for smaller paws to get in here. Um, I have a 24 inch single door kennel. This one retails for $24.99, so it's really, again, really affordable. Um, they do come in multiple sizes from 18 inches all the way up to 48, and that's going by the length. So um, a 48 inch kennel is quite big. That would be, actually be um, even too big for Sadie's. The one that we have for Sadie is a 38 inch kennel. So um, that's quite a bit bigger than that. That would be for like a Newfoundland or a St. Bernard. Um, the prices range from $15.99 to $77.99. Um, because they're on sale on Amazon right now at the time of this review. Regular price, they are um, about, I think, like $19.99 up to like $130, one, $129.99, I think was the highest one. So um, if you're interested in one, grab it right now while it's on sale. I do have Amazon Prime as well, so that might help. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can look into that. Um, another feature that I really like about this is the pan that you'll see on the bottom here. This is completely removable. There is a little, um, oh, I don't even know what you call it, just a little wire safety latch there. You can slide the pan out and then um, wash it if your dog has an accident or anything like that, and then you can just snap that back in. And when your dog's in there, he can't slide the pan out um, on the bottom. There are these little rubber roller feet. You can see two on the bottom and two on the top, and that keeps it from, um, I mean, one, it's easier to slide it around on your floor, but it also prevents it from scratching your floor. If you have hardwood or uh, laminate, linoleum, you don't have to worry about the wire bars scratching into your floor. Um, it does, the, the plastic pan is leak proof, so unless your dog, um, you know, like a male dog, if he cocks his leg and he kind of sprays outside the kennel, but for the most part, you should have all your messes contained and it's really easy to clean. Um, let's see. I don't know, it's my favorite for a lot of reasons. You can tell why um, it is sturdy. Obviously with the folding, this isn't gonna be the best choice if your dog is a Houdini and he tries to escape all the time. If they mess around with this enough, push hard enough on these sides, um, over time, I think, I don't know if he could do it on day one, some dogs probably could, but um, over time it might weaken these, um, you know, the, the bars that hold this together. So right now it takes me a little bit of effort to fold this up and down, but as your dog kind of bangs and stretches those things out, um, you know, bends the metal a little bit, it might collapse on him. That would be my worry and why I wouldn't recommend this for any uh, Houdini dog, so keep that in mind. Um, there are rounded corners on everything, so you don't have to worry about like the metal you know, poking into your dog or anything like that, scratching him, but if he's aggressive enough, um, I would be leery to put him in a wire kennel, especially a wire kennel like this one that folds up. Um, this one, I think your dog would have to be really tough to bend and break the bars. And not, again, not saying it's not possible, but um, it would take a lot of work on his part. Um, and so, you know, if you found one with smaller bars that are a little bit stronger, maybe, but I wouldn't recommend a wire kennel for an escaper. If you jump on our website, topdogtips.com, there's a link to my full written review underneath this video. If you're watching on social media or YouTube, um, you can jump on there. The dimensions of this 24 inch crate that I have are 24 inches long by 18 inches wide and 19 inches high. I do put all the dimensions for the different sizes on there. Uh, so if you're looking for one that's bigger or smaller for your dog, uh, you can find all of that information on our website or of course, um, if you jump on Amazon or go to Midwest, uh, Homes for Pets is the website, the company's website, so you could go on there as well um, and check that out. But I've done that research for you, so you can find it on topdogtips.com. The larger size kennels, one thing I did want to mention was they come with a little divider, um, and it's just a wire divider similar to the outside of the kennel that goes, um, that can make the kennel smaller or larger. So if you're um, adopting a puppy and say you're adopting a Labrador, Sadie would fit in a kennel like this when she was a puppy, 
but obviously I don't want to keep buying multiple kennels as she grows. So you can use the average size of your dog's breed when he or she is going to be full grown. You could buy a kennel that size. Use the divider to section off the front part. So as a puppy, they have to stay in that front part um, and they don't like uh, do their business in the back of the kennel and then come up and sleep in the front of the kennel. So you can um, use that divider and then as the dog grows, move the divider back. Eventually when he's full grown, he'll be using the whole kennel. So that's really nice. So the, these kennels grow as your puppy grows, which I find really beneficial. Again, like I said, for Sadie, you know, I wouldn't want to buy three or four kennels as she was growing. So I was happy to have, um, we have a larger Midwest crate for her. Um, and I was really thankful for that when she was a puppy. We invested the money once and that was it. Sadie didn't have to get used to new kennels all the time. That was a really big benefit for us. This is the Oxgord Paws of Pals double door folding metal dog crate. And I know what you're thinking, this looks exactly like the Midwest eye crate that I just showed you, but it's actually different um, in a couple of ways. Again, this one has the double doors, which the Midwest does have on the larger ones. So you have a door on the front here. And you actually also have a door on the side. Um, and that makes it a little bit more versatile with such a big kennel. Um, you know, if you have to put it somewhere where this door is blocked, you can use that door and vice versa. Um, so that's nice. Now, the biggest difference here and the reason that this isn't on my top spot um, is because this is my pick for the best budget friendly uh, cage and for crate. Don't like the word cage. Now, watch how this folds down. It's a lot easier. You can tell with the Midwest eye crate, um, it took some work to fold it down, which I guess is a an advantage and a disadvantage. Um, it's nice that this is a little bit easier, but it also means that the bars are just a little bit easier to flex and bend. Um, the wires on this crate are. Um, thinner than the wires on the Midwest crate. So um, again, you know, I didn't really recommend the Midwest crate for dogs that try to escape. This one would definitely be a no-no because I think they could fold it down on themselves fairly easily. Um, so keep that in mind when you're shopping for this. However, the price is affected by that. This is the 48 inch crate and it's only $54.95. Um, you can also, this is the biggest one that they have, um, but they also have a 20 inch single door um, and then five of the double door ones that are larger. Again, for all of those dimensions and the sizes, um, jump on our website, Top Dog Tips, and you can see all of those. Like I mentioned, I have the 48 inch aux board, paws and pals, um, double door folding metal kennel. So this is huge. Um, there are two doors. A lot of metal crates now come with multiple door options. It's really versatile because you can put it somewhere where, um, say, this side is blocked and you could use this door or vice versa. Um, it's also great for easy access for a pet if you want to have doors open. Oh, here comes our chocolate lab, Sadie. This is not her crate, but she she's a dog that loves a crate. She loves to have her own little space, um, and she does have a crate similar to this, so uh, she's thinking this one's hers. As you can tell, this is quite large for Sadie. Um, if you have a dog that's crate trained and you just want to give him some extra space, it's a good choice. But this particular size would probably be best for, um, say, a St. Bernard or a Newfoundland, Great Danes, um, those are really large breeds. Like most metal dog crates, this one folds flat and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, they all work about the same, but if you've never seen it done, I can show you. Um, so you'll just fold in each end. No, you can't get in there, big girl. Sorry, I'm trying to let it down without making a whole lot of noise. It's a noisy process. So you fold down each end and then you're just gonna fold it flat and then fold it over. here so if you're picking it up it's not going to unfold on you. It also has a carrying uh, handle. This is a little bit too heavy for me to carry um, but if somebody was able to uh, carry that you could do so that way. Now this kennel is made from steel wire. Um, it has an electro coat finish that's rust corrosion and fade resistant. Um, there are other metal wire kennels like this that have thicker bars that um, 
um, might be a little bit more sturdy and stable, resist more of your dog's uh, escaping attempts, but they are more expensive. Now this one, again, it's the 48 inch, it's the biggest. This one's only $54.95 on Amazon right now which is a great deal. A lot of similar kennels that are made from um, a little bit more durable materials run over $100. So um, if you're looking for something that's budget friendly for a dog that's not a Houdini, this is a great pick. The dimensions, remember this is available in multiple sizes, but the dimensions of this particular one are 48 inches long by 29 inches wide and 32 inches high. Um, you can jump on our website to find all of those. There is an ABS plastic tray under here that's leak proof and it does have the little guard to uh, keep the tray in. So if your dog accidentally has a mess, you can slide the tray out really easily, clean it, wash it off. It's plastic, so um, you know, it'll be really easy if you need to pressure wash it or throw it in your bathtub. Or, um, you know, take it outside and spray it down with a hose, whatever you want to do. And then this little clip uh, keeps it from sliding out when your dog's in there. Obviously, that's something that you don't want. It does come with a divider, and um, I can show you that now. A lot of metal dog crates do, so um, keep that in mind. This isn't something that's unique to this crate, but it is something that's really beneficial with a bigger crate, so you don't have to buy multiple kennels as your dog grows. Um, so what you do with the divider, honestly, I can fit right in this kennel, so. And our cat Anna can too, she, Anna's gonna say hi to you guys. We always have extra animals. Um, so all you do is just hook this on the sides. And then it shrinks that kennel down however small you need it um, so that your puppy can fit in the front side and he doesn't have his accidents in the back and then is able to get away from them. Um, that's a big thing with puppy training. If you're doing any research on kennel training, you'll understand that. Um, these also have the slide bolt latches. Again, very common on metal kennels. It's hard for dogs to open these themselves because you have to lift up and then slide out. Um, your dog might be able to, from the inside, you know, push them up, but he's not gonna be able to push them and then pull them. It's um, not impossible, but it's less likely that way. It is less than four inches tall when you fold it flat, um, but again, it is quite heavy, of course, depending on the size. Some are gonna be, you know, way less than others, but this one weighs over 20 pounds, so um, it's kind of awkward and large too to carry like that, but um, if you do have a large dog and you're gonna be traveling, these folding types of crates are really great. There are rounded corners on this one as well, so you don't have to worry about your dog getting cut by the wires or anything like that. Um, all in all, you know, aside from the metal wires being a little thinner than I like, um, that takes away from the stability of the crate. You can see that, like, I can press down on the top part here um, and press in on the door, which, if your dog's not a Houdini, that's going to be fine. But um, I do worry about pets, you know, um, fidgeting around in here, pushing, trying to get out, and then um, accidentally, like, having the cage collapse on them. Or I've known some dogs that um, are able to push this and get the, like, say, the front to flip over and then, or fold down. And then they can escape um, and they're out in your house making a mess all day. So um, definitely not for escapers, but it is a great choice. It's very budget friendly. This is the Elite Fields three door soft dog crate. This is my choice for the best soft dog crate. Um, it's really handy to have for us while we're traveling. Um, our little Beagle Molly, this is our the 36 inch size and this is the best size for her. Um, so they call it the three door crate. Obviously there's the one here in the beginning, uh, in the beginning, in the front. Um, and as you can see, it rolls up nicely. So, you know, if you just want it to be like a little bed for your dog while you're traveling, you can do that. There's also a door on the top. If you have a pet that's hard to wrangle and you want to just unzip the top and drop them in there or open the top and um, be able to pick them up and take them out that way. You can also see while we're on the top, there's this little zippered pouch. Put some of your pet's accessories in. Um, okay, so we have the front, the top, and then the other door is around here on the side. And it does have these little um, clips to lock all the zippers. So this one rolls up as well and just 
Velcro's up there if you want to do that. And then you can clip the zippers so that your dog can't accidentally escape or um, if you're traveling, you know, that won't um, come open on accident. There is a handle here um, so you can carry it obviously with your dog in it it's going to be quite heavy um, but without your dog in it it's really lightweight easy um, to use and then it also folds so I hope you can see this um, so there's these bars on either side and they have this little plastic um, I don't know it's a little slide that you just push up and then bend the bars in and you see that the comes apart in two. Um, the other side does the same thing. And then the kennel just folds flat. When you wanna put it back up, you just open it up and you're gonna take the two bars. This is hard to do because it's, um, upside down so that door keeps opening. So you can see that um, there's a hole in this one and um, uh, the male end in the other one. So you're just gonna put those together and that plastic thing will slide right over. You do it on the other side and your kennel is set up. So again, I'm just gonna fold it down and show you it comes with a uh, really nice little bag, um, a little carrying bag. This is also available in 13 colors. Um, again, I have the 36 inch, but um, it's available in a variety of different sizes as well. So uh, if you need a bigger or smaller one, that's available. So it comes with this neat little carrying bag. Um, again, you know, not only is this the best soft dog kennel in my opinion, but it's also really ideal for traveling. It slides right into the bag zips up and then you can carry it either with a shoulder strap or um, there's two little handles here to carry as well. Uh, the dimensions of my 36 inch kennel are 36 by 24 by 28. Um, 36 inches long, 24 wide and 28 high. Um, it is a couple inches wider and higher than other kennels of the same length. That's something that Elite Field is really proud of because obviously not every dog uh, is the same size. So the dimensions that are fairly standard don't work for dogs that are taller um, or a little bit longer than others. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to set up again once you take it out of the bag. Now I'm going to find those two bars um, and again you just kind of Push those together and good on this side. This is steel tube framing, so it makes the kennel really sturdy. Um, even though you know it is still a soft kennel, so if your dog's a chewer, a scratcher, you know Houdini that likes to get out, um, that's obviously not going to work. But um, it does come with a washable bed as well. I also wanted to mention that it's only three inches high when you fold it all up, um, so it's really easy to take around. Obviously, it's pretty lightweight, so here's the little bed um, that comes out. Pretty standard um, as far as soft kennels go with the bed, but um, the steel tube framing is really nice. It makes it a lot sturdier than um, other similar soft kennels. The cover is made of 600D fabric, um, and then the hex mesh here. Again, if your dog's a scratcher, it's not going to work, but that's, um, you know, something that can be said for all soft kennels, not just this one. This cover does come off from the frame and it is machine washable. So that's really nice. Um, there's another little pocket on the back here, um, that you can have on or off. You can just clip it off if you don't want it. Um, it's just a little zippered pouch so you can keep your dog's stuff with him. And remember the one on the top that I already showed you. Sadie is in our new age pet EcoFlex pet crate. Um, you can see how beautiful it looks. It really does look like, uh, this is our little Beagle Molly, sorry about that. 
Um, it really does look like an end table. We have a lamp, a box of tissues up here. It works great. It's very sturdy as far as, you know, putting things on. You could put speakers or a stereo, whatever you have um, that you want on an end table. It certainly would hold that. Um, obviously, Sadie's quite comfortable in hers. This is the large size. Um, there are very specific measuring instructions for these kennels and um, if you want those they are on our website topdogtips.com if you're watching this video on social media or on youtube uh, there's a link just below it that will take you to my full written review that has all the details including the measurements um, so for this large size it's good for dogs um, averaging about 80 pounds but of course you have to keep in mind their measurements as well um, and this the length of this the exterior is 35.4 inches. It's 24 inches wide um, and then it's also 28 inches tall. So of course you have to measure the exterior to figure out where you're going to put it in your home. Uh, but the interior dimensions are 32.7 long, 20.9 wide, and 24 high. So keep that in mind when you're measuring your dog. Um, and then of course the door is 16.7 uh, wide and 16.6 high. So almost square but not quite. Um, if you don't know what the EcoFlex technology is, um, it's basically a non-toxic recycled, it's a plastic and wood um, polymer composite. So um, it's part plastic, part wood um, material. It's very durable like plastic but it has this beautiful look like wood it doesn't warp it doesn't crack or split so no worries about that stuff with wood um, and like plastic it's really easy to clean you can just wipe it out with a rag um, so that you know there's no uh, little nooks and crannies to get into like there are in some kennels the bars are made of steel um, and they also see can you get in there or come out come on come out of there good girl Okay, go on. I know. You want to be in the video? Go on. Good girl. Um, so the door does also have um, steel latches, which are in the shape of bones, which I thought was really cute. But my favorite thing about the door is that it swings both ways. So that's really nice. Um, Sadie doesn't need to be in a crate all the time anymore, but we leave it up for her. Um, obviously, this one we leave up all the time. You're not going to take it apart. But um, even with her wire crate, we used to leave it up all the time for her just because she likes to be in there. So um, I can leave the door open like this, put a bed in there so the door doesn't swing at all. Um, and we just leave this up, obviously, all the time for Sadie in our living room. It looks great. It blends in when we used to leave the metal crate up all the time. Um, you know, obviously, that sticks up like a sore thumb. But uh, I I am much happier with this. Putting it together was a breeze. Basically, it comes with the bottom, the top, and the sides, um, and they just sort of nest in together. They're all notched out for you. They nest in together, and then um, you get these little plastic screws that you just put in the corners, um, and everything's already pre-drilled. You can screw these in with your fingers. There's no tools required, anything like that. I put this together myself in about five minutes. This is our orange cat, Oliver. He's coming to check it out, too. Um, so it, installations are really easy, um, cleanings are really easy, you know, everything about this kennel really is great, um, aside from two things, one, this is not going to be suitable for, um, aggressive dogs or escapers, if you have a Houdini, um, obviously if they chew, if they scratch, they're going to ruin this material, there's no point in buying something that you want to look nice in your home, and then having a dog that destroys it, um, you're going to be better off getting a metal crate that he's not going to be able to ruin. Um, so it's not chew proof. It's definitely for crate trained dogs only. This is not going to be a starter kennel for a puppy and it's certainly not going to be for uh, an escaper that tries to get out all the time. So if you already have a well behaved crate trained dog and you you leave him in the crate or you keep a crate for him as a safe place. A lot of people do that for senior pets or dogs with health conditions that sometimes just need a spot to go and be by themselves, um, which is what we do for Sadie. We leave it up for her because this is her spot, her safe place. Um, so, you know, th that's what this kennel is for. It's absolutely the best, you know, most aesthetically pleasing. It is available in um, different colors. I know there's a white. Um, this is the espresso is the one that I picked. They also have a gray and a russet, which is like a lighter brown color. Um, so you can match it with your home's decor. 
So, you know, you don't want a dog that's going to ruin it. That's the first drawback. Second drawback is the price. Obviously, it looks great. It's very durable. It's easy to clean. Um, it's eco-friendly. It's made of that EcoFlex um, plastic wood polymer material. So, um, you know that it's going to come with a higher price tag. That's just to be expected. This one, again, I have the large size um, in the espresso, and it's $157.18. Um, but it does differ depending on the color that you choose and the size that you choose. They have small, medium, large, and then extra large. One step up from this um, and a couple sizes smaller. So um, you can check it out, get on their website, check out the prices. If it's something that you're interested in, you know, they're not outrageous prices. To be honest with you, when I first saw these, I expected this kennel to be more along um, the $300 range. So I was really happy to see that it wasn't quite that high, but I do understand that it's still not right for um, all pet owners, especially those of us that are on a budget. So um, I do recognize that as well. This is the intermediate style kennel from Rough Tough Kennels. Now this is different than any kennel that I've ever used um, in a good way. First of all, it's extremely durable plastic. There are a lot of plastic kennels out on the market um, that are come in two pieces. They're pretty um, thin plastic and so the the top and bottom can kind of nest together and then when you want to put the kennel together you place the top piece on the bottom half and um, somewhere here in the middle you know it screws together or there's clips to keep it together or whatever the case may be. Now obviously that's not going to be super durable for a dog that likes to try to get out even push his boundaries just a little bit that's going to be pretty easy um, to break a kennel like that this one is different it's all one piece construction so i'm going to turn it sideways for you here so you can see there's no top and bottom piece it's all one um, durable plastic construction it's molded this way so there's no top and bottom to put together um, this plastic is also probably about twice as thick as the plastic used um, in those cheaper kennels it's a it's a nice thick plastic you can't you know I can't bend this or anything like that um, some of those cheaper kennels you can kind of push it on the side and, and bend them in um, so the dimensions for this one um, it's 30 and a half inches long 21 and a half inches wide and then 22 and a half inches tall um, and the inside to measure for your dog it's 30 inches long um, 19 and a half inches wide and 22 inches tall so when you're thinking about your dog's measurements now um, the the door here the gate this is all thick plastic too it's not like a metal uh, gate that you see on a lot of kennels it does have the same kind of mechanism that you see on a lot of kennels with um, you know you pinch it together to have to get it down so it's really kind of uh, impossible I'm gonna say for your dog to open this gate by himself it's not the sliding latches that some do um, one of the other things that I really like about this is that it opens from either side. That's pretty unique. You don't see that on a lot of kennels. Um, so I think that's really cool that it does that. Um, so it is a little bit heavier. It does weigh about 20 pounds. Some of the lighter kennels, uh, you know, the cheaper kennels are a little bit lighter, but, um, you know, for traveling, it's really not that bad. Um, obviously, there's a thing to hold on to in the front. It is made with little finger holes in the back, which I thought is pretty cool. Um, so you can just pick it up turn it around or carry it with you. Um, it does have tie down straps, um, or not tie down straps, you can get tie down straps to go with it, um, but just to show you all around um, the kennel, there are some little um, like rivets, I guess you could call it, and on the top as well. Um, there's lots of different accessories that come with this and you can find all those on the Rough Talk Kennels website. Um, if you're looking for any kind of tie down, you know, if it, you're looking for like a hunting dog, it's going to be in the back of the truck or uh, if you're traveling, something like that, and you want to do that. Um, these have been impact tested, which is also really good um, for traveling. If you are traveling and uh, you, you never know if you might get in an accident or if you're, say, traveling on an airplane or something like that, um, you never know when an accident might happen. So uh, it's nice to have a kennel that's been impact tested. You don't see that very often either.
These are also stackable if you need more than one, if you run like a grooming or a boarding facility um, and the little rivets on the top here, you can attach them together so you don't have to worry about like one dog, you know, tipping off the top or anything like that. Um, so a lot of versatility with these kennels that you don't see with a lot of other kennels. Um, certainly more durable than any other plastic kennel that I've ever used. I'm not saying it's the most durable one out there, but um, certainly very close to the top of the list. I have not found one that's more durable than this one so uh, I'm happy with that. This is the pink speckled obviously. Um, they also have a lime green speckled, orange speckled, a white speckled, um, and then one that they call rock stone which is like a tan color um, to choose from. So a lot of options here, um, really overall a great kennel, a uh, couple of disadvantages, you know, the fact that the size, there's most kennels that you find, um, they have some as small as like 18 inches long, and then you have other ones that are like 48 inches long, so there's a lot of different options there size-wise. Um, you don't get that with the rough, tough kennel, intermediate um, kennel here, but, um, you know, that's something that, Hopefully the company, they have other options and things like that and they have lots of other um, types of kennels. They do have an intermediate that has a two door that's available with some different options. But um, for this particular one, whoops, our little cat Elsa is coming up. Um, so for this particular one, not a lot of size options and then the price, um, obviously it's just the way that the consumer market is, the higher quality product you get. Um, where do you think you're going? Uh, sorry. So the higher the quality of the product that you get and, um, you know, the more options that are available, the more durable that it is, you're going to pay more. Uh, this kennel retails for about 20, uh, sorry, $259.99, so $260. Um, I, I know that's obviously not affordable for everybody's budget, but if you have a little Houdini that likes to escape, if you're looking for something that's you know, going to be a great option for a chewer, you know, a puppy that's going to grow into a kennel this size and you want to get something that you know is going to be durable so you're not buying multiple kennels as they ruin things. Uh, this is a great choice for that.